Welcome back to the Hank Strange Situation, Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded. Welcome back to the channel. I'm Hank Strange. We're doing another breaking news with my friend, John Crump, joining us from Ammo Land. John, what's up? Not much, man. How you doing? I'm, uh, I'm doing okay, man. I'm a little under the weather. That's why I'm wearing like a jacket and... It's cold. Yeah. It's cold in my studio. <laughs> yeah, I got my yeah. son upstairs, um, and I'm down in my studio. He's sick. I, I've been sick. My wife's been sick. The whole family. Yeah. My yeah. other son's been sick. The whole family. Yeah, I'm uh, using Ricola, so just... <laughs> yeah, bear with me there. Okay, so today we're going to talk about um, some breaking news from Ammo Land. There's been, there was a 17-year-old teen that was suspended uh, for a Snapchat gun pic that she posted. And her mom, you spoke to her mom, right? I did. Okay, so let's, uh, before we get deep into what happened when you spoke to her mom, let's first try to, like, uh, paint a picture for folks of what happened here if they haven't already heard about this uh, situation with this with this girl. Um, she's 17, and she's in Colorado, right? Gonna... And she is in Colorado. Okay, I'm going to try to, uh, let me see if I can click on a picture here that she posted on Snapchat. And... Um, Let's just talk about that for a second. It looks like there's two people. One's the girl, one's someone else. Uh, one of them is the other person is holding what looks like some kind of AR, maybe an yeah, AR pistol. Pop up state armory. Yeah. And uh, she's maybe holding a handgun with a light on it. Um, and then their fingers are blurred, but they're flipping the bird to the camera. And then they both have on shimagas. Is that what we call it? Shimagas? Or? Yeah. Yes. Yes. Yeah. Okay. So that's essentially, that's essentially the uh, the picture that she posted. Yeah, with the caption. Um, right. That, and what that's was very crucial. Right, and then a caption under that reads: "Me and my legal guardian are going to the gun range to practice gun safety and responsible gun ownership while getting better, so we can protect ourselves while also using the First Amendment to practice our Second Amendment." And uh, that was posted on Snapchat, right? Which is supposed to disappear in what, 24 hours? Uh, I'm not sure how long it, it. I'm not really a Snapchat user, so. Right. I think it's I'm supposed to disappear. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I am on Snapchat. I don't use it that much. It is supposed to disappear in 24 hours, but anything you put on the internet lives forever, right? That is correct. Yeah. So. Um, so, so explain what happened after she posted that picture with that comment. Sorry, that's probably me. Yeah, no problem. Mm -hmm. Uh, the school district sent an email to her mother, Kelly, stating mm -hmm. that she was suspended for detrimental behavior. Um, they wouldn't go into any detail other than that. Mm -hmm. And said that she suspended for five days, and if she showed up to school, that she would be arrested for trespassing. Right. So now, basically, after she posted this picture, I guess it was copied and it was circulated, and um, there were people at the school, maybe friends of hers or something, that were following her that thought that this picture was somehow some sort of threat. Is that what happened? No, no, I, that's not what happened. Her friends never thought yeah. it was a threat. They're all big second amendment supporters okay someone else has to see it okay because they're they're in colorado i mean i yes. know that you know we've uh, lost some of our gun rights in colorado but i mean it's still a gun state still a pro-gun state yep. pretty much yeah and, and so lots of people go shooting there yeah the other person in the picture was her brother who is in the army and he's in special operations okay right let me see if uh, I can. And mm -hmm. they, they were showing, picture, they were flipping off the camera to Snapchat. I'm because I'm it was here, like, lady. The hey, look, school uh, says this, this is picture, our First Amendment, along with and other we have a Second Amendment. It was trying to make a statement about, you know, the Second Amendment. Yeah, yeah. Panic. First Amendment. Yeah, yeah, I'm rolling in a Fox 31, which I guess is a maybe one of the news stations in Colorado, which spoke to, like, they they posted an article about this. Everyone's seen this, I think, in the gun community at this point, and... And playing and playing on, um, you know. So they spoke to her. You're saying that this that the, her friends in school didn't think this was a threat, but somehow it became a thing. Because I think when I was reading that their article, that it said that there were people who were panicked, maybe thinking something was going to happen at the school. Is that is that uh, misinterpretation? 
Uh, that is what the school said. Mm -hmm. um, so far, I have not been able to verify that mm -hmm. of any students at the school thinking that it was a threat at all. It seems to me that it was just the school thinking it was a threat. Yeah, because in this, uh, let me see, hold on, let's see if I can throw it up here again. Um, see if I can put that up on the screen and then I could read this. Uh, doesn't want to do it here. Yeah, the, the school basically said that uh, multiple parents kept their kids home from school that day. But um, yeah. looking into it, it seems like there's yeah. a lot of support for the, the girl. But yeah. the girl is now getting death threats. Right. It says the Endeavor Academy suspended keys. That's that's her name for five days, telling Fox 31 their decision involved multiple social media posts that concerned the school community and resulted in multiple parents keeping their kids home from school out of concern for safety. Um, so they, we're going to go ahead. Go ahead. Mm -hmm. They haven't been able to provide me with any of the social media posts or the actual rules that she has violated. Right. Or anything that, yeah, anything that she did outside of this picture. Now, we're gun guys. When we look at that picture, uh, to me, it seems, you know, pretty innocent. I, I, although I could see how people might want to misconstrue it who have already, um, you know, that like their mind, their visions tainted when they look at something like that. She's flipping the bird. She's wearing like something that's covering her face. Um, but I don't really I don't really think that's a big deal. What do you think about it? No, I don't think it's a big deal either. The school mm -hmm. said they would take in, they would take action against any student posting a picture of them holding an assault rifle. Okay, so that's the school's policy. That's what the school said. Oh, okay. No matter where they post that, right? So that's what the school is saying now. That's not posted in their policy anywhere. Okay. Uh, and it should be noted that she's not holding an assault rifle because we know what an assault rifle is. Right. Uh, or any type of modern sporting rifle. That's her brother, who is an army special operator. Right, or right. A Palmetto, Palmetto State Armory PSA 15. Right. Is there any specific reason, like when you spoke to the mom, that they had their faces covered? Um, is her brother not supposed to be in pictures or something? Or is oh, it just no. a fun thing that they did? They were like, oh, let's wrap our faces up. It was just a fun thing that, that they did. Her brother was on home on leave, and mm -hmm. they were like, hey, let's, you know, Mm -hmm. well, let's just mess around. We're going to yeah. the range. Yeah. And yeah. her brother served over in uh, the Middle East and everything. Yeah. And I, I, I don't know about you, but I don't really see anything wrong with doing that with like, you know, I guess if you're running into a bank or doing something illegal and you cover your face, maybe you don't want to be discovered. I don't yeah. believe that's what they were trying to do or she was trying to do when she posted something on Snapchat that obviously identifies who she is. Um, and I don't know if the school has any policy about, you know, your face being covered. Like, what if you, you know, you go to school, you wear a burqa or something like that. I'm going to assume well, that's fine. It, the thing was, it wasn't even at school or on yeah, the way to school. Absolutely. It was outside school. Yeah. Um, another thing that the school had an issue with was there was a Confederate flag in the background. Okay. <laughs> I don't know. What is that supposed to mean? <laughs> Yeah, there's probably a lot. Look, what I'm trying to say to you is I'm trying to play devil's advocate because when I look at it, I don't see anything wrong with it. I don't see anything too far off from things that I post or other folks out there post, right? Um, I don't often do the thing, you know, the the finger salute, but I mean, it doesn't it doesn't offend me, it doesn't bother me at all. I get it why people why people do it. And on top of that, I mean, I think we have the right to uh, flip people the bird, right? You know, it's... Sure. That, that was kind of the point that she was trying to make. Yeah, yeah, exactly. And um, so, and then, you know, there's lots of people, I see even her mom said like, hey, lots of kids go hunting, go target practice, stuff like that, and post things. But this school is saying they have a specific policy that you're saying doesn't exist there, and that they yeah. did it to her because she was holding an assault rifle, which... You know, um, the Palmetto State, I'm going to say it's probably not an assault rifle, right? No, because it's not an assault rifle. Yeah, it's and not a machine gun, was, even. So, yeah, yeah, she wasn't even holding the, uh, yeah. the, the semi automatic rifle at all. That was her brother. Right. It, the mom brought up the point of, hey, how about, you know, kids hunting pictures? They're like, well, mm -hmm. you know, if they went hunting with an assault rifle, then they would get suspended as well. 
Yeah. So let's paint a picture of this girl in everyday school life, right? She's uh, what, 17? She's 17, a straight A student. Okay. Um, she's what, a junior in high school or senior, maybe? Uh, she was a senior. She was taking college classes in high school. She okay. Was an athlete as well. Yeah. She's on the volleyball team or something like that. Yeah. The varsity volleyball team, which she had right. to meet. She had to miss the championship because. Of because this. of this suspension. So they gave her a five day suspension, right? That is correct. Okay, so five, like I'm assuming that's five school days on that yes. suspension. So, okay. Mm -hmm. so okay, so for the week. Um, has she ever been in trouble before? No, has this was the anything? first time she's ever been in trouble. Um, her family is big in the shooting, mm -hmm. and she is actually planning to start competing. Right, and she goes that's to like, the range even with her mom, not just her brother. Yeah, her whole family goes right. to the range. Uh, the whole yeah. family is big Second Amendment advocates. Okay. So um, when you spoke to the mom, what's she saying about all this? How is uh, her name? Is Al I think her name is Alexandria. Let me see. I'll tell you. 17 right year old now. Alexandria Kai is still yeah. being haunted by a Alexand post. Alexandria right now mm -hmm. is, isn't doing too good uh, mm -hmm. because she's feels attacked mm -hmm. um, and she's getting death threats okay. from people as well so she's spending a lot of time in her room and to the mom she wants everyone out there to let Alexandria know that she is not alone and that people are standing behind her yeah absolutely who would be sending her death threats uh, different people from the, the school different schools okay because this is made like national media now so there's people getting involved in this in yeah. this whole thing right and it's kind of ironic that they're doing that. Um, that wasn't her intention um, for them now to be leveling those threats. Uh, the authorities doing anything about that? Are they, uh, they are taking out restraining order orders right now. Mm -hmm. um, also, since there was a Confederate flag in the background, a lot of students at the school mm -hmm. is now thinking that she's a racist because mm -hmm. one of the reasons why the school suspended her was the Confederate the evil confederate flag behind her with the guns right yeah that's just ridiculous okay but so never mm -hmm. made a threat mm -hmm. no history of violence uh straight a student taking college classes right confederate p flags part of american history whether you like it don't like it you know i mean it, it is, is what, what it is. is yeah it is what it is okay so um is she planning on going back to school uh yes she is going to go back to school um mm -hmm. right now uh, she's trying to get good grades because she's a straight A student, but she wants to become mm -hmm. a registered nurse. Mm -hmm. So she has to go back to school, but she feels threatened at school now because, mm -hmm. not because of the gun thing, but because the school kind of painted her as a racist. Oh, okay. So how about this family? Do they have like legal representation or anything? They are looking for an attorney. I supplied them with a couple of pro-gun attorneys that uh, GOA gave me mm -hmm. to give to them. Mm -hmm. Okay. And uh, what about paying for those attorneys? Um, do they have some kind of like defense fund or something like that set up somewhere? Not right now. Okay. Uh, that might come depending on the total. They don't want to look to try to get money or anything from anyone mm -hmm. unless they really, really need it. Okay. Yeah. So it's, it's not like give me money because you know, I need a legal fund because I don't want to pay for it myself. It's like, only give me money if I can't afford it. <laughs> right, yeah. But right now, this poses like an like a threat to her academic career. Yeah, you it's going to the mm -hmm. colleges. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and being a student, mm -hmm. you know, good grades, everything, taking college classes, she basically could choose the college that she wants, but now she might not be able to. And that that is one of the reasons why the parents are going yeah. after it. Yeah, exactly. I mean, because who knows what happens after this, even when she goes back to school. Who knows if she wants to go back to that school after, you know, obviously she's getting death threats and things like that, and people um, are taking, um, you know, people are just, like, maybe seeing this in the, in the wrong light without really looking at everything that happened here. So now she has to go back to that if she chooses to go back to that deal with it. Who knows whether or not they – let her continue to be on sports teams and all that kind of stuff if they kick her out of the school. I mean, we, could, we this could just go on and on and on, right? Yeah, we could.
Yeah. Okay. So, um, what, uh, you know, what would you like the folks out there who are looking at this? You know, is there something that they can do? You know, what, what can we do? Because I think a lot of times when people look at these stories, they're like, man, this is just from, from in our camp. People look at this stuff and they just say, this is ridiculous. What can we do to help this person out? They can contact the Cherry Hill uh, School District. Okay. And why they suspended someone for not violating any rules. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Um, and, and this is not the only Cherry time. Creek. Sorry. Cherry Creek. Okay. In Colorado. And this is not the only time that we've seen things like this going on, right? At, no. at, in the beginning, when a lot of this stuff first started years ago, it was like you couldn't wear a T-shirt. You couldn't bring even a toy gun. You couldn't have like a little tiny. You couldn't have one of those little green soldiers with a gun, right? You couldn't eat a pop tart in the shape of a gun. Yeah, you you couldn't. You can't. Uh, it's progressed now to you can't uh, put your hands in the form of a gun. You can't do imaginary trigger, right? There's all these different things, and now it's gotten to the point where you can't post pictures on your own that aren't directed at anyone except maybe your friends and family and things like that talking about the things that you do that are constitutionally protected that many of us do now you can't even do that right because oh that that could be uh that could be perceived as a threat correct yeah okay so when um when is this article coming out uh tomorrow which would be Thursday. So, okay, so Thursday this is coming out. Um, you know, I, I encourage everyone to uh, keep track of this story, see what happens to this young lady. This is, like, you know, probably going to be um, something that's going to be tough for her. She has to live with it from now on. And I don't really um, see why it was made such a big deal of in the first place. People do a lot of things like that. We have Halloween coming up. You know, there's going to be people posting pictures and doing all kinds of things, covering their face, doing all kinds. I think we have in lots of other cases, kids, you you know, giving the finger, doing whatever, and people don't see that as a problem. But if it's now associated with guns in, for any reason, like I understand if someone posted something like this and made a direct threat. But for any other reason, like her saying, oh, I'm going with my guardian, we're going to, to practice at the range to get better. And all that kind of stuff. Now it's, you know, now it's a bad thing to do. You know, yep, stifling exactly. speech and trying to control how people think about things. So now, so then that no one could be proud about being pro Second Amendment or pro gun. That's crazy. That is correct. Okay. All right. Thanks for uh, bringing that to us, man. Um, everyone who's watching this, let us know what you think about this. If you're in Colorado or if you're anywhere else that you've seen these kind of things happening or it's happened to you. Um, let us know. Is there anything out there you'd like to tell the folks that are watching the video, John? Visit my Patreon and join the My Patreon Army at Patreon yeah. <laughs> um, uh -huh. uh, slash John Crump. We have a contest going on right now where we're giving away a mechanic to a single mom. You can find out more information about that at 2aproject.com. And basically all my funds from Patreon go to do stuff like that. Okay, very, very cool. And um, I hear you're going to be at the uh, Second Amendment rally in November 2nd in D.C. I right? will. Okay. I'll be interviews with everyone as they get done with their speeches. Okay, cool. And if any if folks out there um, are interested in this or they want to make it or they want to, like, show up there or somehow support what's going to happen, what can they do? Uh, they can go to 2 nd AmendmentRally.com, SecondAmendmentRally.com, and they can register there and find out all the information. If you see me there, come up to me. I'm going to be having constitutions to give out and some other stuff as well. Awesome. Yeah, look some stuff that looks like this, I'm going to say. All right? I don't know yeah. if you saw that. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Um, and then if anyone wants to know more about that, we're going to actually tonight we're going to do a podcast uh, based on that. So by the time you guys are looking at this, it'll be up on Lifestyles of the Locked and Loaded where we do the podcast stuff. And we're going to have several people that are going to be there at the rally, including John. I'm not going to be there. I've already have things that are planned that I can't cancel. Um, and I have to, you know, like travel, get out there and get those things done. However, I'm doing my best to support everyone that's going to be there. We'll have some folks that are going to be there, show up, answer questions, tell people how they can get there or how they can support. That's what we're trying to do. Um, and I would just invite everyone to, you know, comment here on the video, thumbs up, definitely ring the bell, 
so that uh, whenever we post stuff like this, you're going to be notified, right? That's how you stay notified of these things. Anything else, John, before we get out? Uh, no, I think that's about it for me, man. All right, awesome. Thanks for bringing this uh, story. What's up? One other thing. If you're going to Red October out in Las Vegas, come by and say hi. I'll be out there as well. Okay, what's the details real quick on Red October? It's open to the public. It's the largest AK shoot in the world, and it's held out in Las Vegas every year. All right, very cool. So I'm sure they can just look up Red October, Google it. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, awesome. All right, thanks, guys. We're out of here. Thanks.